is Goddesses, and I'm Nancy Goddess, your host tonight for Big Beautiful Women and Gentlemen Admirers and people who love us and support us. Yes. And we are size positive, and we welcome everyone, all sizes, talent shows and cooks and chefs and everyone. So it is called Goddesses because my good friend Ned Slongtag helped me create that name. I don't know if you're familiar with Ned Slongtag, mm -hmm. but he's wonderful. Look him up. Mm -hmm and he's a great artist and he draws beautiful big women. So that I came up with that name through Nick Songtag and I have a lot of pictures that he drew and I don't use them anymore but I used to use them as logos mm -hmm. and I have them put away from 1989. <laughs> <laughs> but he's great, look up, look him up online. Yep. So thank you so much. Now we have Debbie Ava here tonight. <laughs> we just want to say a few things but if the viewers out there are watching and you have any questions for any of these models, please ask and call in. That would be great. Yes, it would. And let's say that you're having a pop-up, right? Let's yes. not forget that. The pop-up <laughs> is going to be Saturday and Sunday, and all you have to say is the word goddess. Or type it in, G-O-D-D-E-S-S, -S, uh -huh. and get 30% off. Yes. For tonight only, when you view my website, if you make any order, um, if you use the code goddess. For tonight only, yes. but not during the week, only tonight. Right. During the weekend, we'll, we're doing the pop-up, and we have other specials Oh, because when we were talking earlier, we said if you just go online and use mm -hmm. the word goddess, yes. that they'll get 30% when they go yes. to your store. Mm -hmm. Can they do that t today and tomorrow? Or That's just, today? just for today. Oh, okay. We better make that clear, because the first time around, I didn't see it, hear it. But yes, so go online to Zop Zoptic. Boutique. Zoptic boutique, yeah. And Joey put everything up, and you get 30% off if you mention goddesses. Yes. Girls, you're all beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, before we go to Davieva, I'd like to say to each and every model, I appreciate you being here, and I hope that you come again. And um, like I said, this is a very big room, as you can see. Normally, we have the models modeling on the other side, mm -hmm. but this is great. They still did a, a good job considering. Yes. It's great. And, and you see my little girl here? This, this is Joey, picks up all these little chubby girls I wherever he it. goes. <laughs> and I have a whole collection at home. <laughs> <laughs> so he's great. He knows I love big girl figures. You know, they're fun. And any of the girls have any questions uh, for anything? Well, I have a question for, uh, it's, this is for all of you. What motivated you to start modeling? Maybe plus size modeling. Go ahead, answer. Well, this yes. is day one for me. Yes. No, so but still, there has but to be for some. For fun, in. for you know, to put show the microphone that it a little matter. bit closer to you. Um, I'm here for fun, um, to just show that anybody any size can wear whatever they feel comfortable in, and oh, great. you can just that's great. Be happy and be comfortable with your. That's I love skin. that. I love that answer. <laughs> I, I totally love that answer because, um, yeah, some people do it because they just want to be a model, and that's wonderful and great, but if you're really doing it from the heart because you really believe in it and, and you're having fun. But I'm not knocking down the girls that are professionals, so no. don't get the wrong idea. Yourself? Next. For me, I feel representation matters, and we need more plus-size um, communities, more clothing lines that cater us. So for me, it's more so just to be representing us and looking for more outlets where we can actually look and see, oh, that person looks like us. You no, know, so course. we need so more representation. And, and, and that's very important. Okay, That's next. very important. Thank you very much. And please introduce yourself when you talk. My name is Nikki, and I started plus-size modeling exactly a year ago. It was really just, um, uh, I just answered an ad Ooh, for an, a French <laughs> designer, and he was looking exactly for my measurements. And I came in, and then after that, I started freelance modeling for a year now. And I, what I love most about it is that I feel like I can inspire other women to love themselves, love their curves, and believe in themselves. Where awesome. have you modeled? Uh, have you modeled? Uh, have you done any print work, or is yes. it runway? You, you're I doing did print runway, work. Runway print work. I've modeled for a few plus size magazines, queen size models, and. Cool. Style and Soul magazine. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. Hi, my name is Maria. And Hi. what brought me, what got me into modeling was, um, it was just, you know, I, pers I, I started modeling <laughs> through Clairol, actually. 
My wow, daughter went off to, Well, you have great hair. Beautiful. My, yeah, that's thank you. The best hair. My daughter went no. off to college, and I was I was a stay at home mom for ten years, and I decided, you know, I saw a hair project, thinking I was going to end up on a hair show, and then it ended up being Clairol. But what made me continue auditioning was really um, representation for plus size women and the mature woman, because I am 49 years old, and I want women to know that no matter what your size is, your age, um, you should love yourself, care for yourself. Um, you know, it's about self-love, and it doesn't mm -hmm. matter your size. Uh, just love yourself unconditionally. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have gorgeous hair. I know. Wow. <laughs> Okay. How Hi, are you? I'm Carrie. Um, Hi, Carrie. This is actually my first day as well. Awesome. Um, and what really motivated me to do it was as I got older, I'm 31, um, pushing Turn myself. Off. Stop it. <laughs> oh, come on. Pushing myself to do 31 again. <laughs> more things that I haven't done um, before or that I might have held back on before. It's more like a yes, I can attitude. Uh -huh. um, so I'm facing more things that I guess you could say I was a little bit fearful of before, but this mm. is who I am. And this is love a great, you. great clothing. Yeah. Um, I've no, always loved. Saw so her on Instagram, loved her clothes. So yeah. excited yeah. to be here. I am, okay. I'm, I'm so happy. That's oh. your mic. Yeah. Th 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 that mic can stay with you, but ladies. One, one word. If you guys can tell me one word, what would you say to another young lady? Because uh, you're not only speaking to young ladies, but also to a whole community. Because exactly. Also, well, also there are men out there models. looking. But one <laughs> word to inspire them. What will it be? Go on. Comfortable. Nick? Exactly. Enough. Oh, yes. spoken word. <laughs> Believe. Mm. Okay. Fearless. Yes. I would say be bold. Yeah. Ooh, confidence. confidence. That's the whole poem. Have right your there. confidence. Yes. Confidence That's a high is very important. You guys just did a high school without you know, knowing it. You know the confidence on who you are. Live today. Loving and it. And I always celebrate. Live today, not tomorrow. Yeah. I learned that the hard way yes. because of, I'm a, I became a mother's caregiver, mm. and it was a horrific. It was hard. Uh, experience and what she taught me, what everybody taught me in the nursing homes is, tomorrow is never guaranteed, and this is right. on all faiths. Of so course. live today, love yourself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let the haters hate, baby. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Well, they all had great answers. They all look beautiful. Yeah. Are you I excited? I am. You excited for the pop up on Saturday? I am. I just want to. So say don't forget, you lose. There's a pop up, and it's going to be where again? Two seventy two. Seagull. Seagull. Go go. In Brooklyn, and all yes. they have to do is go on your page you tonight to get thirty. The name of the page? Off. Yes. Zoftigboutique.com. And, and, and I'm sure Joey's putting it up. I'm excited you. about I'm sure. your pop-up, but about I'm a little bit upset. Because, again, rent use. money. We have but some deals for the pop-up. No, no, you don't understand. Once I find a place, so far I see four of these that are going home. <laughs> oh, she's taking them home with her. No, 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 no. I'm also you doing have to a pop-up <laughs> uh, on know, Saturday and right, Sunday. Right. Yes. And, and are, you, are you like, so is your mom going to be there? Um, my oh, she's smiling back home. there. She's hiding behind the curtain. <laughs> Mom, do you want to come and sit down in the back or something? No, you want to not. Good. Okay. She's, she's no, she doesn't want to be seen. <laughs> she's shy. She wasn't planning on. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um. So um, I love what you're doing, and I love yeah. everyone that came with you, all of your models. Yes. They're all positive. Yes, that's why. And, 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 and they feel good about themselves. So that's really important, having confidence on mm -hmm. who you are no matter what, yes. whether you're thin or small. I mean, there's small people, little people, we mm -hmm. call them. We come in all sizes. Exactly. <laughs> you have to love yourself no matter what size you mm -hmm. are. The botanical garden has varieties of hundreds and thousands of beautiful flowers. So that's what Goddesses yes. is about. So we're always looking for a spot to have an event, and perhaps maybe you may want to have a fashion show at one of the events when we have one, yes. too. I would like and Goddesses is planning a, another event. Joey's looking. So, goddessbbw.com, uh, perhaps we'll have one in Queens. That would be great. Mm -hmm. um, and you girls will come. <laughs> and if you're awesome. up to modeling again for her. I would like that. I hope so. <laughs> That'd be good. So, we, 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 we do have a story about Davieva, and she would mm -hmm. like to say a few things about what she's doing. Would you want to sure. um, talk to the viewers I started about with uh, Nancy Goddess Modeling. And I'm the CEO and founder of BBW Beauties Magazine, which mm -hmm. we now have made it to, uh, we've changed, we revamped to La Moda Lifestyle to include everyone. You know, it's a plus size community, but life has a way of being life. 
Yes. And it actually <laughs> changed. I came out here to, I got a phone call four years ago to take care of my mom. Mm -hmm. And I started taking care of her, and I, like I stated, it was a horrific journey because I saw her suffer. But at the same time, it was a very hard, but a very necessary lesson. I've always worked with the less fortunate. S for the last 18 years, I've been working with a, an organization, Westside Children's Feeding Ministry, helping the children of Haiti and their families. And uh, when I came here to New York, I uh, did the same thing. I did it with, uh, in Florida. And now uh, I've partnered up with uh, two different groups, actually three. So yeah, you were saying that uh, when I spoke to you the other day, you just joined the group. I think your camera is here. I'm not sure which one is your camera. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just looking everywhere. Yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. They there. have your voice, you <laughs> they know? They have a voice. I'm yeah, with, um, get you everywhere. I partnered up. I'm one of the board members of Wandering Age, which the co-founder is here. Uh, oh, she's here tonight? She just woke up. She's right there. Okay. She brought her book, and it's an awesome organization online, but they're expanding, and they have a variety, a plethora, literally, of information on their site, where if you are at the present time between homes, AKA, you know what I'm really saying. Mm -hmm. There's a place that you could go, get that your they information. Would be, they would help. She they, they, they could it's the, the lady, that, this young lady, what is her name? Her name's Eleanor. Eleanor, we don't Eleanor? Any, does, does she want to speak or does she just want to sit down because we have a mic if she wants to speak? Well, she would you that. like to speak? I would. You would. Here you okay. go. Okay. Um, can that go for up to her? Uh, I, don't I don't know. No, it won't. So if she'll have want? to come over here. Okay. Um, do we have another? Okay, come on. <laughs> She's going to sit on your lap or just turn around? Yes, just turn, just turn around. around. Come on over here. I want to say you guys were fantastic. I really appreciated what you guys <laughs> said, your one-word haikus. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm here with Wandering Aid, and we visit, map, and connect human need resources. Right. On our map, you can find places that have housing. I'll open it. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> housing, clothing. I'll be your vanna, baby. <laughs> Hold this. this is what Davi does. It's great. Housing, clothing, child care, and other basic human needs offered by nonprofits around New York City. And what's the name of the organization, Wandering Aid? Wandering Aid. Wandering Aid. Now, I, I took a glance at it, and you know, the rents are going up in Queens, and landlords are pushing everybody out. So if someone has a housing condition, a problem with a landlord, you know, things like that, do you also help with that? Do you help uh, with legal aids? And things like that? We do have legal aids. What Wandering Aid does is we have a map of all of the resources in New York City. So if you have any basic human need that you're struggling to get, it could be housing. And we have many different housing options for you, short term, long term, and we also have so legal assistance. So if there's someone that needs help, yes. you, you would help them with all the, and what is your website, Wandering Aid? WanderingAid.org. All right, thank you so much, because um, there are a lot of people out there um, that are losing their apartments because they've lived there for like 30, 40 years and you hear it on television and they're g getting everyone out. So your wandering aid will help them, correct? Correct. We'll help people with the human needs that they're lacking. This goes beyond just housing. We're really oh. looking at yes. who people are in their needs. We're need-centric based. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so good to Like good uh, to, to get help them get work. To not just we have work. Their f their motto is like no, they will not just give you a fish; they will show you how to fish. See, she so has it's not a just microphone on. Yeah, she has a microphone right on. there. <laughs> she has her own microphone on. We're going to be doing a seminar with Woodhall Hospital. Okay, in and October. when is that seminar? So maybe some of the viewers might um, want to come. It, it's actually it's going to be at Woodhall Hospital in Brooklyn. It's actually Williamsburg. It's going to be October thirteenth. Thirteenth, uh, three p.m. Two or three. Yeah, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. So See, she remembers more than I do. If anybody <laughs> forgets, go to wanderingaid.com. Is that the website? Dot org. Dot org. We're oh, a nonprofit. Dot org. Okay, nonprofit. Wandering. Yeah, wanderingaid.org. So if anybody needs help in any way. In any way. In any way. The reason we're doing, we're working with also Woodhall, what they're doing is because that area is concentrated with a lot of homeless, uh, uh, mental health concerns, and what they've noticed is uh, uh, a lot of people keep coming back to them, and then they start getting the history, and they want to better serve the community, not just here, oh, how come you're getting, s they want to know how come, how can we be more preventative measure? So they've asked us to come and to literally not just give them numbers and facts. So this here, what you're doing, this is like a show alone, a whole hour. 
Oh yeah, they're going to come back. So they're going to come, come back, back <laughs> and we can do like a whole big thing, you know, and sit down. Yeah, and you put yeah. the mic right there, right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. so much easier to sit down and explain and get call in. And I appreciate you coming. I know Thank it was so last so minute. It was last, last minute. She brought I her books it. and everything. She's prepared. Thank you so much. But guess what? It's wait, wait. It's my pleasure. Let's let's hold this baby again. Sure. She um so wanderingaid.org. Uh huh. And guess who's the so, model uh, on this? So oh, Daviela. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Our model is an online and printed map with a map of resources on one side and art from people from these nonprofits on the back. Oh, that's She's amazing. an artist. She that's just, uh, you did You're a show. You're an artist. A yeah. I'm a painter. A oh, painter, oh. congratulations. See, so that's two shows you have. Wow. <laughs> Do you know a lot of painters? Yes, Do I'm you from know Pratt Clarity, Institute. Clarity uh, Haynes? Hines? Yes, I've heard of her. I haven't okay. met her. <laughs> we'll talk she's later. She's great painter. Oh, oh she, she, <laughs> Yeah, that's good. So what do you paint? Just everything? Um, I paint an egg tempera, and I've really focused on painting the size of this map mm -hmm. so that with every map, you get a new painting of a portrait from somebody at these nonprofits. And, and what inspired you to do this to help people well, to get involved with the wandering... Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sure. ...org? It's a it's an org, um, nonprofit organization, correct? Correct. What inspired you? In 2016, I decided I wanted to help with the refugee crisis. Um, it was larger than the population during World War II that was migrating. I felt like I wanted to do something as an American. And from that experience, I understood what nonprofits were like um, from the ground and what it's like to build one. Um, so when I came back, I realized I wanted to help America. And me and my partner, Sunder, teamed together with Wandering Aid, and we met Davi. And from there, we realized, well, maybe we shouldn't have a nonprofit where we give something to people. We should understand what's out there already. And we found that there's only a few places that map nonprofits around the city, and even fewer that visit them and make sure that they're accessible and inclusive. There are a lot of people that don't know about this, so I, I'm hoping that more people will find out so that they can get help. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you so much. That means next time, doing. more time. Great, great job. <laughs> I, thank you for I'm here. Helping. Thank you for coming. Thank such you a short so, notice. Thank you so much. Thank and I'm looking guys. forward to seeing you again. And we'll sit down and we'll have we'll chat more about thank you. all of the services that you have, but many services that you that you have. Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. Eleanor. That's wonderful. <laughs> that is yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And it's it's so heart it's wrenching. It's a great service. It's it heart wrenching because you see the situation, you know. Because uh, I saw everything. It's not just housing. It's mm -hmm. everything that you yeah. that this here organization is doing. Yeah, and it's it's very uh, unfortunately the system is broken. A friend of mine, uh, he's with his family uh, in a shelter, and they took him to a, an apartment to see, and they wanted him to accept it as is, and it was all broken, busted, disgusted, and he's like, no, I'll rather stay no in the shelter. No one wants to live like that. No, and the thing but is, the, but the landlords are putting everybody out if you're yeah. living there 30, 40 years, and even elderly and handicapped people, yeah. they want them to move because they want three or four thousand dollars for rent. Yeah. So with this organization, people who are having other problems too, not just that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. will help. And again, yeah. it's called Wandering, Wandering Aid. Aid. Dot org. org. All right. Yeah. And and it'll be up there online. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Debbie, you. for bringing this here. Yeah. No worries. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Well, these girls were wonderful too, as they well are. as you. You did a great job, and now that you're involved with this organization, yeah. it's great. I have to and just get a lot of tissues because you see these I know, stories. It's sad. I, you know. We've been doing enough crying with that. It's very sad. It is. Let, let's just think about happiness now a little bit. Carrot like cake. <laughs> carrot cake, yeah. She knows that. I get sad. I actually buy carrot cake, no icing, and I just have black coffee, and I'm like, the world is right. <laughs> the world is right. <laughs> You're funny. But it's true, She's little a carrot cake. <laughs> As you can see, I've been quite depressed. So the pop-up, I'm, I'm excited. It's, yeah. uh, you know, this new thing, pop-up, who came up with that? I mean, seriously, I'm hearing pop-up, pop-up, pop-up. You know why? Because they saw that the, uh, the rent, again, is too expensive to have a store. And they saw that it's more lucrative to have a pop-up. And what happens, a pop-up is like, it's not going to be here too long. You come here, you get the stuff while it's hot. So everybody runs to it because it's like boom, boom, boom. But even a party, you can call it a pop-up. 
Well, this popped it's up somewhere. It's amazing. I'm sure. I'm surprised that nobody called in, because you have such interesting and so much knowledge on this panel right now, with what you're doing with the organization, and you have such beautiful girls. I think the men are all shy to call in, and the women right now. <laughs> I know the lines must be like going. <laughs> because we used to have the phone ringing off the hook. <laughs> Trust me. I know, but it's really nice. Unless I Filthy love Rich is in there talking to all the people on the phone, Good I bet you he's <laughs> picking up all the phone calls. Filthy Rich, stop taking those girls' phone <laughs> numbers. Too late. <laughs> um, That's probably what he's doing. That's why we're not getting those calls. The no, pop up no. that I'm doing this weekend is called Sip Shop Eat. And I really want to say it's amazing. It's run Zip, ran, like mm -hmm. zipping a soda. Zip, yeah. Zip, yeah. Uh -huh. Shop, shop, like shopping. Is that the name of? It? Is it? A, is it yeah. a restaurant? What is it? It's um, it's a collective market. Is technically what it's called. It's um, run by someone named Taylor. I can't remember her last name right now. I'm sorry, but it's awesome. Um, she had her own brand, and she was struggling to find places to do pop ups herself. Uh, she has clothing also. She, um, uh, I believe, she was doing nail art. Oh, that's Don't quote beautiful. Me on that. Okay. Oh, nice. So she started a collective market. She, you know, rents out this space, mm -hmm. and she lets it's like all local. So brands. it's her space, and and what's the um, it's capacity? It's Beyond Studios. They rent out the space. So what's the capacity of her space? I don't know. You but it's pretty large. I don't oh, know that's what cool. the exact capacity Do you have to go is. upstairs just for no. people just it's to let people floor, know? it's ground floor. You just walk right All right, down. Awesome. everybody, we're yeah. there. Yeah. For yeah. those who can't climb up. And the vendors there are amazing. It's not just clothing. You so are yeah. you are not going to be the only one there this no, week? No, uh, there's going to be like so many other vendors. Oh, so we're going to be looking okay, for you. Okay, so yes, yes, that's going to be me. very interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, you can get your nails done. I see those wheels. I see them. I know. I see I know. it going click, 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 click. Suppo I'm supposed to see my daughter this weekend, so you know now. <laughs> bring her, bring the whole family. Mm, I don't know if she'll come. We'll have to find out. It's a lot of fun. Sounds like it. It is. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah. Some people bring so, are, are you going to do more <laughs> pop ups? Are you, uh, uh, I would I'm love hoping to. that you do. Yeah, it's so much fun. I loved meeting people because since I'm online, I don't always get to meet people face to face. So, it was great to connect. And I know. See how and excited they were to see plus size options at a pop up. You know, we don't always find plus size options. And you're coming all the way down to Bushwick. Mm -hmm. And you are from again? Bay Ridge. From Bay Ridge. All right. That's not that well, bad. Bay Ridge is it's about same. an hour from it's where you're going to come. Because I live pretty what, close Jersey? to where you're going to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's very exciting. I mean, Ridgewood and Bushwick is getting very popular and mm -hmm. it's a place to be. It's yeah. a, a lot of restaurants, a lot of nice places. Yeah. Where there used to be warehouses, you have to look around and see how many, how many restaurants that are in there. It's amazing. In yeah. Ridgewood, that opened up. And I've been there all my life, many years, and I'm like, oh my God, that used to be s a warehouse. It is now a beautiful cafe <laughs> and restaurant. It is. So it Ridgewood is. has changed a lot, like Williamsburg in yeah. Brooklyn. I don't know if anybody here knows Williamsburg and or Brooklyn. It's right there, <laughs> right by that street. That has <laughs> the front <laughs> and the backyard in the back. There's a fire hydrant right there, right there, <laughs> right there. You can't but miss Bay it. Bay Ridge, you're from Bay Ridge, really? Wow. Bay Ridge. Yeah. Um, I was pretty much born and raised in Bay Ridge, Dr. Heights, Bay Ridge. I thought you were going to start doing that Will Smith song. <laughs> born and raised. I'm like, hey. No. <laughs> Just a know, look. Ladies, uh, uh, are you uh, ladies, uh, any of uh, you ladies been to a plus size dance party uh, ever? No one here? You must come. Okay. <laughs> I, I was just asking. You, one question I asked them all no, about that one no. word. I didn't ask you. One, what one word would you tell someone? Just like these young ladies did with bold, believe, enough. What one word would you say to, to motivate someone? And to doing their dreams, following their dreams. <gasps> I would say self-love as one word. Compound word, love mm -hmm. you. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool, <laughs> self-love. Mm -hmm. That's that is good. nice. Yeah. How Be did confident. you achieve it? Um, I think it's something you always have to work on. You know, mm. we're always evolving and mm. our connection to ourselves is always evolving. Um, but for me, it's really about, you know, getting to know yourself mm. and not just the stories that, you know, we are handed down from 
you know, our family or strangers. But what do you mean, getting to know yourself? The only reason I'm asking mm -hmm. is because we always hear that. No, <laughs> that we always hear has to know. No, no, because I'm okay, get to know yourself. How do I get to know yourself? I just look at the mirror. <laughs> oh, what do you think about me? No, how do you get to know yourself? It's and keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are a few ways. No, no, no mommy, that's a different <laughs> show for another Mama's day. Mommy's over there. <laughs> how do you really get to know yourself? What, what do you mean by getting to know yourself? You have to really connect with yourself. It's, it could be, you could get to know yourself in different ways. Um, I like to meditate, mm -hmm. you know, I'm very into, you know, my spirituality and all of that. And it's just really about learning your own signals about like what lights you up, what feels good. What sets you on fire. Yes, you know, it's about Go what on, lights you up. Go on, keep going. Well, <laughs> Deepak Couture right here, baby. <laughs> That's no. awesome. That's nice. Mm -hmm. No, but yeah. it's great. It's great what she's doing. She, she it has is, it is. The only reason I'm asking. And you have to love because yourself. That's you like have to, yeah. one. You have to yeah. care about who mm -hmm. you are. Love yourself as you are because there are very crude people out there. Even if you're not a plus size woman, mm -hmm. there are mm -hmm. people out there that are cruel to thin people too. So oh for yeah. everyone out there, you love yourself on who you are. I have and a friend, her daughter is slender, and she oh, hates it. Oh, her daughter's it. beautiful. No, not my daughter, another daughter. That's but she's very gorgeous slender. too, <laughs> and she hates well, it. She this hates is what it's all being about. called skinny. And I told but her, you're not skinny, you're slender, you're but awesome. But that's what the argument is about yeah. here. Everyone thinks that goddesses are just for big women, or, or they no. think we're porn. Because when you look on the goddesses, you're going to see porn. That's not us. Yeah. Those are people who just took our name. Mm -hmm. that's Me too, it. that's so the battle I have. We're not porn. <laughs> we don't do that. No it's porn. just they took our name because it's wink, been over. Wink, wink. It's been we've had no, goddesses kidding, over kidding. thirty-two years. Yeah. yeah. Remember that's how I met her. I hid yeah. and I lied for you, <laughs> Nancy. I lied for you. I know. And I, it was worth don't. it. I gave it was up worth the it. I gave up the number thirty-two years. No, no, but you. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, but, but it was worth it. No, it, it. It's been interesting, and I love all of you ladies that came on, and I hope that I see you again, and we'll have some more fun. And we'll open up this whole room, and we'll get all these, all these, all the crew that's here today. They did a great job. Yes, yeah. they oh did. my God! If I yes, have to name them one by one, Joey's going to put them on um, the credits. But they <laughs> all did a great job, and we were messing around in the kitchen and <laughs> talking and talking and talking because we haven't seen each other in a while. And it's a great crew here. And I want to thank uh, my my guests that's here. Teresa's here, and Mr. William, and and of course. Uh, Eleanor. Eleanor, Wandering thank you for coming. I want to thank all of you ladies. Thank you so much. And don't forget, come to Goddesses.